I think with this order, calculating everything in, you know, that's how I say, I like to say calculating. No, I don't say calculating. No, I say calculating everything up. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. First order of the day. I ain't got no time to play. I got $6 for three miles. I can't even holler because look, money is money. It's two to one miles money ratio. Let's go. I know what y'all going to say. Hey, that's a $6 trip. But look, I had to take it real quick because what you got to realize is that put me in the prime position to get my next order. I got my next order, $12.09. 5.3 miles right here at QDO. Already got that thing in the bag, ready to go. So now I got five minutes to get this one dropped off and then I'm gonna head over to my Walmart Spark. Is that put me in the prime position to get my next order? I just got 16 bucks and you can't tell me that ain't nothing but good luck. Cause look, that's 20 something dollars and it's gonna be less than 30 minutes to get all these delivered. See, that's what you gotta realize when you out here maximizing, you can't be downsizing, you only can be upgraded. It's lunchtime. We about to get some noodles to come. Got the buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese bowl. Woo! We about to get to this motherfucking bag. I ain't even playing today. Spot number eight. That's where we at. Look at them. They working hard as hell. Look at that. They got that door swinging open back and forth. Check me out. I got me a rock star. I I'm feeling good today, y'all. I got energy. Look, I got my Bluetooth in my ear. I got some tunes going. I got some good vibes. Look, this is how you want to be. You want to come make your money. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you ain't going to be in a good mood, but you know what? Today I'm feeling great and I just want to take advantage of that. And I'm I look, I'm already finna be one third of the way to my daily goal. I'm right here in the zone. We in good shape. I'm almost halfway to my daily goal. Let's get it. This is perfect. Yes, sir. First hour down. I'm sitting there. Hold on. Let me see. I did a $12 order on Uber, a $6 order. That's $18. Then we got $16.50 over here on Walmart Spark. So that's what? $18 plus 10. That's $28 plus another six, what's that, $34.56 for my first hour of work. The time is now 1.30, so I'm 1.30 of the way to my daily goal, let's get it. It is Friday, money is to be made out there, let's get it. You see it's still icy as heck out here right now, so we dealing with some, you know, unfavorable road conditions. Look at that, I just slipped a little bit. But it's all good though, because you know what? When it's unfavorable road conditions, you're more likely to get some good tips and more orders. So I'm cool with that. We're gonna go ahead and slide on over to the zone and see what we got. Next order, we got $8.03, 7.2 miles. But check this out, look at the map. Just like the other day, I'm, and when I'm heading in a direction, I leave the apps on so that just in case I see a reasonable offer in that direction I'm already heading, in the area I'm already heading to, I can accept it. And that's just what we got today. $8, seven miles. And, and you know, on the surface, it might look like a bad offer, but when you factor in all those different things, you can see that this is actually a great offer and it keeps me making money while I'm driving to an area I was already headed to. So we already at Taco John's and I love this one because so, some of the Taco John's, they don't let you pick up through the drive-thru, but this one, we got lucky. This Taco John's right here, they let you pick it up through the drive-thru. They usually always have it ready. And every now and then they hook me up with a free drink too. And hey, can't nobody complain about that. Let's get it. I'm getting to this bag. I ain't got no time. Should you quit the gig economy? You know, I know it's slow out there right now. May not be a, a whole lot of orders out there, but it's money to be made. I used to make most of my money with DoorDash and Grubhub and Uber. And yeah, I know, look, I did get deactivated on DoorDash, but that was planned, right? But what wasn't planned was the slowdown that I'm seeing on Uber Eats and the slowdown that I'm experiencing on Grubhub. So with that, what I mean to say is, you know, I could give up and just quit, but you know what I chose to do? I chose to adapt to the situation. Look, $8, three, $8.01, 3 3.4 miles on Uber's and Company. And see that right there, just paid for my lunch. I just wanna say, adapt to the situation. If you're making your money, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, things change and it became a little bit more difficult, don't give up because the gig economy will pick back up. We will start to see more orders coming through. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of time. February and January are known to be slow. Known to be not a lot of orders out there, a little bit harder to make that same money. But if you give it some time and also adapt to your situation, you'll be just fine. Yes, sir, we sparked up today. Just got that Noodles & Company order dropped off. We in good shape. I just got my next order already. And guess what? We sparked up. I got a batch order on Walmart Spark. $37.54. Let's get it. It's going straight to my rent. I am not playing. We got 29 miles on this one. 10 orders. Let's go. This order right here is going to put me at my daily goal. 
And if I get anything else in the meantime, in between time, you know I'm going to slide it in where it fit in. Multi-app madness all day long. Get that money. I got to show you how it's done, man. Because, look, it's money out here to be made. You just got to be willing to facilitate it. And sometimes you take a little big order that you normally wouldn't take, right? Or you take a little small order you normally wouldn't take, right? But then it sets you right up to be in the perfect position to get that money. And that's what we're about to do. All right, let's scan some labels. First order dropped off. I'm gonna throw up a screenshot right here. Let me know, would you take this order right here? How long do you think it's gonna take me to get it done? Let me know in the comments below. Order number three, stop playing with me. Fastest alive, look at this. You ain't never seen nobody drop off two, three orders this fast, look at that. The time is now four o'clock, so you know I can't stop. We got a couple more hours until the sun go down, so you know I gotta stay around, let's get it. Do what it do. Drop it off right at that front doorstep. Hold on, you gotta lean it up like that though, make sure. So, hold on, there we go, now it's all good. Got four orders to go, and then we good. We gonna be ready for our next one. Hopefully I can get another $35 or $40 Walmart Spark Batch order, cause that's gonna put me way over my daily goal. Right now, I think with this order, calculating everything in, you know that's how I say, I like to say calculating on. I don't say calculating, no. I say calculating everything up. You know, I'm probably sitting at about 80 bucks right now. So an Uber order or two, that'll put me over my daily goal. But I am not opposed to getting another Walmart Spark order because you know what? That's where the money is. Vacuum for this one. Let's get it done. Got some good old dirt road action right here. Let me know in the comments below. You got any dirt roads in your market? Do you find it easier to get back to your zone by taking the dirt roads? Or do you like to go ahead and stick with the concrete and asphalt? Order number seven. Last Walmart Spark order. Got it dropped off. Took me a total of an hour and 10 minutes to get all of those dropped off. Not bad. Hour and 10 minutes to make $37.50. I'll do that all day long. Alrighty, so the time is now 4.45. It took me exactly an hour and 15 minutes to get that Walmart Spark order done. We in good shape and ooh, my phone just went off. It's all orders out here. What's this, $14 for two miles? Oh, that's a shopping pay, I shouldn't have took that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back on that. I'm gonna go to the order and I'm gonna just go ahead and hit, I accepted that one by mistake because damn, it's only six items, but I'm not trying to do no shopping right now because I'm, I don't know how them lines look inside Walmart. So we're gonna go ahead back out of that one. But let me see, cause there was a lot of offers on that offer screen. Let me see what else we got over here. Cause I'm sitting at $34.15 already on Uber. And then let's see, I got $37.54. Oh, hold on, I gotta do some math now. Hold on, I think I might be darn close to my daily goal with that. Because what's that? If I got 34.15 on Uber, all right, we in good shape. 34.15 on Uber, plus I got one batch for 37.54 and another one for 16.50. 37.54 $16 plus 16.50. Oh, okay. So we are $88.20, not bad. I only need 12 more dollars and I've attained my daily goal. Anything else after that? That's just icing on the cake, baby, let's go. This is what I like to see. Getting that money, making it happen, and we're keeping these wheels rolling. Now the only thing is I haven't got an Uber Eats order in quite a while. I was able to complete all of those Walmart Spark deliveries without getting nothing on Uber Eats. So we're gonna head over here to this little Walmart that I'm closest to, and there's a Panera Bread over there. There is a, what's this, curbside pickup? I'm not close to that Walmart. There's a Panera Bread over there. There's a Wendy's over there. We got a Freddy's over there. We got Taco John's. We also got Jimmy John's. So we got another, oh, we got Buffalo Wild Wings over there too. So I'm finna head over there to where, this little area where I know all these restaurants at, plus it's a Walmart. And we're gonna see what order we get next. Things don't always go as planned. I pulled up, waited, didn't get any good offers and I've been sitting here for 15 minutes and I'm so close to home that I'm gonna go ahead and pull up at the crib because you know what? I'm $12 away from my daily goal. And it's not about getting the best orders. It's not about, you know, oh, the biggest order. It's about, can I still hit my daily goal? And what else can I be doing with that time that I'm just sitting here chilling? So you know what? Oop, hit a bump. We gonna go ahead and go to the crib.